Welcome back to Booze in the Rock, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. Today's cocktail is called a Strawberry Dream. Now, it's a variation of a cocktail that you can find in this cocktail book, Shake, Strain, and Done, which contains a whole bunch of illustration, hand-done illustrations, actually, and a lot of great information. Now, the original cocktail does call for strawberry jam. In this case, I'm going to use fresh strawberry, and I've modified the ingredients and the amount. So it's very close, but it is different. Now this is a shaken cocktail, and for the fresh strawberry, you need a large strawberry that's already quartered. Now if you have, say, small strawberries, use two smaller strawberries, just make sure you pop the tops because you don't want the green stem in there. We're going to add next a little bit of simple syrup. Now this is a one-to-one -one simple syrup, being one part water, one part sugar. You just kind of heat it up until it goes clear and throw it in the fridge for later use. And we need a total of half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Your next step in the process is lime juice. Now, I'm gonna grab one of my sad looking limes here and I'm gonna cut it in half. And we need half an ounce, which works out to 15 milliliters. That's how sad it is, it doesn't wanna cut. Anyways, having said that, you just wanna squeeze it directly on top. So we're going to pause adding ingredients here just to muddle this in. And you wanna make sure that you really muddle this in thoroughly because you wanna break it up. Awesome, so what you wanna also do is not worry if you don't get it perfectly muddled because when you go to shake this, this will break up the remaining fruit left over. But we need a little bit of pineapple juice. Now, use fresh pineapple juice or pineapple chunks if you can get them but we need a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Your next ingredient is gin. And that's kind of a different take because a lot of people would use something like a white rum in this. However, we want the subtleties of the gin to come through without overpowering the drink. And we need a total of three ounces or 90 milliliters. Now that you've done that, we also need some bitters. Now I'm going to use uh, Angostura bitters here. Uh, you could use something slightly different to give you different flavors. I'm using a little Japanese bitter. So we need a total of one dash, which works out to two dashes with this. Now that you've done that, you wanna make sure that you actually shake this with ice. And what we'll do is we will shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. We need to make sure that we pulverize all the pieces of strawberry and we wanna be able to actually uh, dilute and chill it to exactly where we need it. So make sure that's on really good. Give it a solid smack and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand strawberries. And what you'll do is you'll put this off to the side and we're going to serve this in an up style. I'm going to use a nice coupe and we're going to fine strain this because we want to get out all the chunks. But make sure you have a spoon handy because the chunks are actually gonna block up the inside of your strainer, just like so. All right, so what you need to do with your little spoon here is just kind of rub this, just to move all any of the pulp out of the way, like so, to give yourself a fantastic looking wash line. Throw that over like so. Grab yourself a half strawberry, put it on there like so, and now you have a strawberry dream. Fantastically gorgeous to look at. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, really good. You get that strawberry, you get the subtle hints of pineapple, a little bit of juniper, and you get some of the bitters. The gin is well hidden in this cocktail. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.